Hospice care nurses are trained to support patients through their end-of-life journeys, but who helps them when they suffer a devastating personal loss of a loved one? Sarah Jennings travels to Cleveland for this week's Pay It Forward and meets a woman who's helping her fellow co-worker, Linda Bates, overcome some of life's most difficult challenges. Our story starts in a parking lot just down the road from the Cleveland branch of the Hospice of Chattanooga. That's where Debbie Nicholas has driven up to meet us from her home in Chickamauga. She is a lady that started with me at Hospice of Chattanooga 10 years ago. We've both been hospice nurses since that time. And Linda's just had a great deal to go through, especially in the last couple of years. Debbie tells me that Linda is raising her 10-year-old grandson. Skylar has cerebral palsy, and she has had him since he was born and she has just really been a, done an amazing job with Skylar. Skylar's two younger brothers died tragically in the summer of 2012 when they were left in a hot car. Before that terrible summer, Linda lost another young grandson in a house fire. With all the grief that she's been through of her own, she still puts on that smile and goes in and takes care of her hospice patients, and then, of course, Skylar looks so much like these little boys. How in the world she manages to do it, I just don't know. There's a group of us that are trying to start a campaign to buy him a wheelchair accessible van. That same group of co-workers has also been in on Linda's Pay It Forward. They've got her somewhere in the office and so I'm hoping that we're going to be able to pull this off as a big surprise for her. So we count out the cash and make our way inside the office where they're holding a morning meeting. Where is Linda Bates? I nominated you for Pay It Forward for what you do for Skylar, what you do for the patients every day. On behalf of the McMahon Law Firm, and use channel nine, hold out your little hand. One, two, three, four, five. And that is for you. Linda is moved to tears when I ask her about Skylar. This week my husband said, what would we do without him? And he has brought so much light to our lives. I'm awed at every day at the things he does and things he says, the prayers he prays. Like seeing new places, which has become a big challenge. So we definitely need something we can just roll him up in and fasten him in and take him wherever he wants to go. And he has a testimony, you know, as the way God has brought us through from the summer of 2012 when he lost his brothers to now. and. And we've got a testimony that God can bring you through anything, and He will. Sarah Jennings, News Channel 9. To learn more about Skylar's anti meth fight campaign or to donate to Skylar's mobile account, go to our website, newschannel9.com, and click on the Pay It Forward icon. Yeah, and you can also watch any Pay It Forward stories and nominate someone you think deserves a $500 cash surprise.